All right, so we are going to do a batch of my famous tuna salad. My wife's been asked to bring some of it to work, my colleagues, so why not film it and have it recorded for the ages. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Well, first of all, we'll start with some can of Kirkland tuna, drained but not well. I like Kirkland because it is good, exceptional quality. It's a good uh, product, and no, I'm not a stockholder, but I've been using it for years and will continue to do so. Let's see. Next, have some tame jalapenos. They're pickled, not spicy at all. You can substitute dill pickles, but I have found that this actually works swimmingly. Let me just give these a rough chop. The other thing that's nice about these is I find that these jalapenos, again, they're not hot and being pickled. They are awesome on peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwiches. Give that a try sometime. Ooh, it just doesn't look like enough, so let's let's do a little bit more of that. These are approximate measurements. That's why I'm not writing this down. Okay, next, and take a little bit of. Fresh rosemary, and you know, if you got your own place, there's no reason not to have fresh rosemary. It's awesome to have year-round for a number of things, from potatoes to tuna salad. It goes killer on garlic bread. Oh man, it is my favorite. And um, you know, it just, buying it dried just is such a disappointment. So, I'll just take some like that. Yep, get the camera over there. It goes in like there. So, whip off my fingers. And next, little black pepper. Fresh ground if you've got it. It's awesome. Great. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a nice cut of lime. Just give it a nice squeeze there. Get that off. Okay. And not if there wasn't enough sodium in there. We're going to put a little bit of mustard, just a little bit. Ooh, and sriracha. Mmm, Vietnamese ketchup. Cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. All right. Now, this is important. Real mayonnaise. I like best foods. I guess maybe east of the Rockies or the Mississippi, it's called Hellman's. Again, mayonnaise. Real. Not Miracle Whip. Little known fact. Miracle Whip was invented in World War II as a 
industrial lubricant. Hence its popularity. Like diamonds, it was pawned upon the masses afterwards because there was so much of it invented for the war effort that they just had to figure out a way to get rid of it. So why not convince people it was tasty? Okay, so now we are going to mix this up. It's just a little bit sloppy. But as you break this tuna down, that liquid is going to get nice and absorbed. See, there we go. As that liquid gets absorbed and the mayonnaise works in, you've got yourself just a beautiful looking tuna salad. Now you can add more mayo, real mayo, not Miracle Whip, if you like. But that, to me, is the perfect ratio. Now, time to try it. Oh my god! Perfection. Oh my word. The stuff is really good. We have sourdough bread and it's toasted or pretzels. Crunchy, rolled gold, small pretzels. Pretty dang good. Anything crisp, crunchy, hard works really well. And there you have it, my special tuna fish, tuna salad recipe.